Uh, hi. Um, I'll talk about local remote execution today, which is uh, yet another approach to uh, interoperating Nix and uh, Bazel. We do a slightly different uh, thing that, um, than rules Nix packages. Um, I want to make this like a bit more abstract first. So um, think of it as kind of four steps. Uh, we gather tools in some end, like arbitrary uh, fashion. Uh, it's important that like in our implementation we use Nix, but it technically could be some other mechanism. Um, then we create a local remote environment, uh, sorry, a remote environment around these tools. So because we want to make sure that we can run remote execution, even if we do use Nix, uh, we need to like we, we prioritize uh, this approach. Then we also want the same exact environment locally, right? So um, similar to what rules Nix packages gives us, um, we also want um, like this, this seamless interoperability between remote and local execution. And then finally, only after we made sure that we have tools in the remote environment and in the local environment, only then are we starting to actually look at the toolchain uh, configuration for Bazel. Um, the tool gathering in our case in the Nix implementation is fairly straightforward actually. It's just this environment which is a, um, just an aggregation of strings. So these PKGS, um, like this is like a variable expansion in Nix, it technically doesn't have to come from Nix packages, so you could also use some arbitrary tool. For instance, um, in rules mojo, uh, which is like the, was like a hacky proof of concept implementation for the modular Mojo programming uh, language. Uh, we wrapped like a custom variation of the Mojo compiler um, and just imported that. And that was not, or still, I think, is not in um, Nix packages. Uh, then we use the remote, like, then we build the remote environment. The remote environment, in this case, we take the same environment, like the same strings, and we just pass it to some container builder that, in our case, also runs in Nix. Uh, the name, my image, whatever, like, uh, I'm not even sure whether this is technically needed, but um, the point here is that we just forward the same strings that we initially, where we, like, that we took, where we gathered, gathered our tools. Um, we take the same environment and um, construct our image from that. Uh, then in the local environment, so this is when you run Nix locally, so when you use a flake, you have this shell hook, which is basically like a dot basal RC um, script that runs before you enter like your, your bash environment when you develop locally. Um, we add this as a comment. So this is not in any environment variable. So this is not your path in your Bazel RC. It's just a comment. And we only do this to, um, to fetch the Nix packages. So the materialized Nix store paths, we only need to fetch it to your local machine. Because the way that we'll create the toolchain configuration later is just um, just the absolute paths that we that we construct in the Bazel CC, for instance, Bazel CC toolchain config or like your custom toolchain config. Um, I'm skipping over the CC part now because that's a bit like more complicated. Uh, so let's just do a, like a naive toolchain, right? So uh, the simple trick, which I highly recommend people to try out, um, which we found after I don't know how many um, how many iterations it took to, to get to this like um, trivial idea, is to just use string flags. Um, because we have Nix, we can use flake modules, so we can create flake modules to generate Bazel RC fragments, uh, which where we can, we can pass arbitrary like dash dash action and uh, variables, for instance. Or let's say you're using uh, CUDA. You could use a repo env environment variable to just pass this materialized Nix store paths as, a envir like as an environment variable to, for instance, repo rules. Um, and so we just take the string flag, and for custom rules, uh, we can just use, like, directly pass these as strings. So note that we are not using Bazel's file API. We want to create an, a, a very kind of strict um, separation of concerns between what gathers the tools or, like, what manages the tools um, versus uh, Bazel, which we just treat as, like, a consumer of these strings. Um, this is already, like, that's basically it. Uh, we use this pattern in the native link code base uh, already. So every time a user fetches the repository, they will invoke this, um, 
this Flake module, which creates the Bazel RC file, which uh, then, in, like, because the Bazel RC file needs to be created, it fetches the uh, local environment. And um, we run the same exact job in CI, so, and we push it to a publicly available cache, so this is not some closed cache or like some, some uh, user-specific cache. This is open for anyone, um, and we kind of treat it as an extension to the Nix store, uh, right? So like a finer grained variant of um, the Nix store. And if you want to try this, you can, yeah, just clone the repository, run Nix develop. This is, I guess, the, the one non-standard uh, step that is required here because, well, we need to uh, invoke all of these shell hooks and like Nix configurations, um, and that's it. Uh, thank you. <laughs>